So uh, next question, Representative Hewitt. Um, uh, you're the, the chairman of the Collective Bargaining Subcommittee on Appropriations, is that that's, the case? That's, that's okay. correct. Um, do you feel it's appropriate to push for pay and benefit concessions from the state labor unions to reduce spending? Or if not, what approach will you take as we go through the bargaining process we're seeing in Hartford? I think it was okay. <clears throat> God, I wish I had some water. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you. Mm -mm. One thing I, I didn't. I did. oh. <laughs> it's the first one of the year. It's one thing I didn't think of. <laughs> I, I think it was okay what we did when it came to collective bargaining when uh, the unions had to give back, but I think we're just asking them to do too much now. And I, I, I won't support uh, them giving back. Right now, uh, they're laying off people like crazy, and I, and I don't support that. Okay. Um, Mr. Soto. So I absolutely support collective bargaining. Um, and I also support the fact that when we enter into a contract, that that's binding, right? And if someone wants to change that contract, that it needs to happen with, with the agreement of both parties and not unilaterally. Can I raise just one Certainly, little thing yes. before? Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, uh, this collective bargain uh, subcommittee that I'm a uh, chairman of, I haven't had a meeting. I don't want to have one because of the simple fact that binding arbitration is binding. 